Hi, my name is Stephanie from Six Sister Stuff, and today I will be sharing with you how to make mini bite-sized carrot cakes. So what we're going to do is just take a regular cake mix, uh, a carrot cake mix, any brand that you like, and just make it according to the directions on the box. So we've got the carrot cake mix, three eggs, one cup of water, and then a third cup of oil. So we're going to mix that together and then as this comes together we're going to add a little something extra. Um, a lot of people prefer certain ingredients in their carrot cakes and um, I love to add um, crushed pineapple. I think it adds a little more moist gives it makes the cake a little more moist um, this is just a eight ounce jar of crushed pineapple we're gonna stir that in and then I like raisins I don't think it's a carrot cake unless you've got raisins in there so you can add in as many as you want I usually do about a half cup maybe three quarters of a cup if I'm feeling risky Continue to stir these in and then we've got about three quarters of a cup of coconut. Just keep stirring. And then lastly we've got some walnuts. I think the walnuts add a nice little crunch. Um, if you want to, you can dice those more finely or chop them up, but I kind of like um, my walnuts just in little pieces. So when you get to this point, after it's all incorporated, you're just going to take a metal spoon and slowly put them into these mini muffin tins that you can find. I have sprayed this just so it doesn't need a liner and they won't stick to the bottom. So you're just going to scoop these in. You're going to want to fill each one about two thirds of the way full. So. Uh, this recipe will make about 48 bite-sized carrot cakes. So if you're looking for a recipe that's going to feed a lot of people and not take a lot of work, this is definitely at the top of your list. Not to mention, they taste amazing. So you're just going to fill this all the way up and then they'll cook for about 15 minutes at 325 degrees. Then when you're done, my favorite part is the frosting on these. So it's not a carrot cake unless you have cream cheese frosting. If you're feeling really thorough, you can make your own cream cheese frosting. Um, I just bought the store brand kind and put it in a plastic bag and then I cut the corner off so that I can easily decorate the top. So. I'm a huge frosting fan, so I think the more the better. So I'm just circling this. It's about ready for a refill. Around the top of the cupcake or bite-sized carrot cake. And then I just bought these orange and green decorative frostings at the store. And then you can make your little carrots right on top. And there you have it, a bite-sized carrot cake for all your holiday festivities. If you're looking for this recipe and more recipes, be sure to visit SixSistersStuff.com.